Hi. During the last couple of days, I have been pushing a lot of keyframes. And, well, to be honest, I was procrastinating a little bit. And I noticed that uh, the keyframe editing wasn't as good as I would love it to be. So I spent some time tweaking stuff and adding a bunch of new features. And I want to walk you through these. So all this is related to timeline. And I think, yeah, if you are working with the timeline editor, then you might really like some of these features. So let me walk you through this. I will use this Katsumaki example here. This ships uh, the demo and uh, yeah, some kind of animation here. And it ships as an example with uh, the T3 uh, project. So you could actually use this as an example. And we will see that uh, there's a lot of like small little orange dots, which means these are animated parameters. And if I select them, we see that, yes, it's, uh, it's a lot of uh, keyframes here. And um, so how to deal with these keyframes? Um, so this is what this video is about. So let me start by pointing out that I'm most of the time using this uh, keep animated parameters visible option. So if you activate this here, nothing is changing uh, for now. But uh, the idea is that things will stay visible. Um, with things meaning animated parameters will stay visible even if the operator is not. So if we turn this, disable this, so nothing is being shown there. If you select one of these animated uh, parameters, we will see it. But if it is selected, then it will go away. And if I, um, if I enable this, either by clicking it or by pressing Shift K, then uh, I can deselect it here uh, and uh, there was the visible and if I select a bunch of more then they will be added to the list of visible parameters and uh, if this gets too overwhelming then uh, I can for instance if I only want to work on these parameters here I can just select them and hit shift K tw twice and then I have only deselected down here very useful um, Another thing I did was that frequently um, it's like a little bit hard to find which of these parameters are actually what. And yes, you see that uh, while hovering these uh, animated layers, we see how these parameters are hovered over there. But now you can actually click these and it will jump to this animated parameter, which uh, comes yeah, really handy to uh, walk it through things. Another thing I uh, was working on is that you can now use the white mouse button to drag within the keyframe area here, which uh, yeah, is something I should have done a long time ago. Uh, heads up, you can also you now right click uh, or right scroll in the parameter window. Um, yeah, super useful. Um, another thing is that um, just as you can select these operators here and see their parameters. You can also hold the shift key to select all the keyframes uh, that are set for this layer. And this can be quite useful. We also see that uh, if something is not within the range here, um, so let me deselect all these. So if I select this here and it's not visible, then it will make it visible because sometimes you might want to move all of them, but you are not aware aware that there are something outside of the reach of the visible parameters there. So um, that can be quite, quite useful. So um, then what else do we have here? Do, 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 do. Um, so there, uh, yeah, added a small indicator line here that shows actually where the current value in the tooltip is being dragged from. So this small orange line you see here. So we see that the attraction here is at this point, it's like uh, has this value, which can also be in handy. And then um, you might notice that if you click as keyframes, you can actually go in here and change this value directly, which might also be nice. And uh, yes, there's also like there are some keyframes. Some people do not know about this, but period and comma jump to the next and previous keyframes, which might also be very useful. Um, 
just as you can hold control uh, shift to select these, you can also hold control to deselect these. Also useful. Um, sometimes you have keyframes selected and you just want to deselect them. And uh, you could obviously click here, but um, earlier and earlier versions of tool, the time would actually change to this click position, which was a little bit annoying because um, the only thing you wanted to do is to deselect these things. And yes, you could have always used this crop area at the bottom of the area to direct this time. But if you just wanted to deselect, actually changing the time was a little bit um, unexpected. And they made a bunch of uh, mistakes by this behavior. And so I decided it's actually better to have um, a two-click approach. So the first one will deselect and the second one will actually jump to this uh, time, which of course is super useful. Um, and then one final feature I want to point out is that uh, we changed one hotkey. Uh, there used to be a hotkey called B, which would jump back in time. And to be honest, I never used it and nobody I saw ne nobody else using it. Back then I thought it would be a great idea, but uh, as with many great ideas, uh, if they're not used, they are pointless. And um, so sometimes also useful just to get rid of stuff that's not as useful as you thought it would be. And the reason why I decided to do this was to align it a little bit closer with After Effects. And in After Effects, uh, you might know that uh, you set the work area with B and N. And um, yes, we changed, uh, if I'm holding shift here to step, for instance, to this area, or like to this area, we can now press B and uh, it will select this bar here. And then we could uh, hold shift again and select this area and press N and then this will be the new loop area that is being used. Um, super handy. Um, another thing we changed that uh, the playback is no longer, or the selection is no longer confined to this loop area. So you can now uh, change the time to look how this animation looks outside the current uh, loop area uh, or before this. But if you start uh, playback, then it will jump in there. So, um, that was actually everything I wanted to show you. Um, I hope you like some of these changes. Um, and if you have more ideas or you don't like them, it might also be completely valid feedback. Please uh, give us feedback on Discord. We are really listening to that. And without this feedback, well, things will never change. So if you have more ideas of cool new features that would be useful for the timeline area, just post them there. Uh, we are listening and reading all of them. And besides this, I can only wish you a great day. Thanks for watching and see you next time.